Hey up everyone, right, so it's time to have another look at the map. Um, so this is the map of what's going on in Ukraine. Um, it's called Live UA map. And so basically, um, all of the incidents of what's going on in the area, and they're all kind of reported by people on the ground, so it's kind of like the most up-to-date thing that we can see. So, and the big overview here that we can see is, so the the things in blue, they're the Ukrainian forces, and the things in red, they're the Russian forces, and what they're doing. And as we can see, there's not much difference here than there was yesterday, other than there's a hell of a lot less that the Ukrainians are doing here, right? So, um, it seems like Odessa is, there's not much going on there. Um, Crimea, there's not much going on there. So yesterday there was a lot of attacks and stuff that were happening in Odessa. And there was a couple of explosions and stuff that happened in Crimea. But essentially, I'm just looking at it as a big overview here, um, it seems like everything's just happening around the border lines, um, around Donetsk and around Lugansk. There's not even been any attacks inside Russia today. Um, it seems like quite a quiet day, really, on the front. So if we have a look here, right, this is the area that um, the, um, the dam was in. Um, so this was the hydroelectric dam that um, got blown up by the Ukrainians. And this whole area down here, this is all flooded. Um, um, and the Atom Vin Vis Vis Atomvinsky bridge, the Ukrainians have been attacking that, but they seem to have been repelled. Um, and the Ukrainians have been trying to take advantage of the fact that the dam had been burst because it flooded all the Russian defensive lines, all their trenches and everything, they've all been flooded. So the Ukrainians have been trying to use it as a way of like breaking through the lines. But as you can see, that's not really what's going on here. We've just got lots and lots of bombing going on. Um, the whole area is being bombed and the Ukrainians have been pushed back in their attempts to try and use the dam's um, burst. Um, uh, there's a Zaporizhia nuclear power plant. Um, again, there's not much fighting going on around there. In fact, there's no fighting. The Ukrainians are really not being putting up much of a battle in anywhere around the, the border areas. As we can see, there's a hell of a lot of bombing that's going on here um, against this whole area. So this is the first place where there's any kind of fighting happening here. Um, these ones where they've got little guns on them, that tells you where there's been battles. So as we can see there, Russian forces conducting offensive actions in Donetsk and the Lugansk region. Um, and that is essentially what's been going on. Uh, the same here, this is the same um, thing that's happening, is that the Lugansk, the Russian forces are conducting offensive actions in Donetsk and Lugansk region, 26 combat missions again with the Ukrainians, but all of them have been repelled. All of them have um, been defeated. And there's just a mass of bombings that are going on. The Russians are essentially just shelling and um, they're shelling and bombing these areas where the Ukrainians are. Um, and that's essentially what's been going on. Um, the Ukrainians are trying to attack, but they're being repelled and they're just being bombed. I mean, just look at this, this the entire area, the entire um, border area is just being bombed and shelled by the, by the Russians. But what's interesting is, that, like what I was saying, is that um, it's the Russian forces who are conducting offensive actions. Um, and all of the Ukrainian military, they're engaging with them, but they're losing every time and they're getting blown up. And there's loads of videos around just showing the tanks and everything that's being destroyed. All of their convoys are all being completely and utterly destroyed. 
So that seems to be the situation of the day, is the Ukrainian forces just seem to be getting pummeled to death, just getting bombed everywhere along the line. Um, everywhere around there, it's just bombing and shelling that's going on. There's not really a great deal to report here. Um, there's been nothing happening in Russia. Like yesterday, there was about four different attacks that the Ukrainians conducted inside Russia. There's nothing today. Nothing in Crimea, nothing in Odessa. It's just in the border towns around the Donetsk and the Lugansk areas. All of the offensive actions are being taken by the Russians and not the Ukrainians. So yeah, that seems to be the order of the day is the Ukrainians are just getting slaughtered.